Hi, mathematicians. I'm John Michael K. Plave, and I will be your instructor for today. And my goal is to help you develop a strong understanding of mathematical concepts, especially implicit differentiation. And my expectation is to create a supportive learning environment where you can feel confident in your mathematical abilities and are motivated to apply math in real life situations. Hello, mathematicians. Welcome to this video lecture on implicit differentiation. Today, we'll explore a powerful technique in calculus that allows us to find derivatives of equations that are not explicitly expressed in terms of one variable. Implicit differentiation is particularly useful when dealing with equations where the dependent and independent variable are intertwined. In tradition differentiation, we often work with equations and that explicitly define one variable in terms of another. However, in certain cases, relationships are expressed implicitly, meaning one variable cannot be easily isolated. Implicit differentiation provides a method to handle such solutions. The process involves differentiating both sides of an equation with respect to the independent variable, treating the dependent variable as the implicit function of the independent variable. This technique employs the chain rule and product rule to find the derivatives of both explicit and implicit functions within the equation. So without further ado, let's dive into the fascinating world of implicit differentiation and uncover the tools to unravel the derivatives of implicitly defined functions. For our first example, so as you can see, y is not isolated with our equation. It would be quite difficult to rearrange this. y was given explicitly as a function of x. So a function given in this way is said to be or defined explicitly. The derivatives of the Implicit functions can be found by the process called implicit differentiation. So let's have this example. x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 3y equals 4. So our first step is we need to differentiate each term with respect to x. So differentiate x squared. So applying the power rule that is 2x plus we need to differentiate y squared, so that is 2y. Again, applying the power rule. But since the y term is need to differentiate, we should put a y prime. Then differentiate negative 2x, that is negative 2, plus 3y. So differentiate that 3y, that is positive 3. Then again, this is our y term. So let's put again a y prime equals differentiate 4, so that's constant, so the derivative is 0. The second step is we need to isolate y prime. So it needs that y prime will be left to the left side, and that will be now our first derivative. To do it, we need to isolate by transferring or transpose those values that has no y prime. 2y, y prime plus 3y prime. As we transfer the values from left to right, the operation changes. So 2x will be negative and negative 2 will be positive 2. Third step is we need to isolate y prime. So let's factor y prime. So the result is y prime quantity of 2y plus 3 is equals to negative 2x plus 2. So we can divide both sides of the equation by 2y plus 3. So that we can cancel out this one. Therefore, y prime is equals to negative 2x plus 2 over 2y plus 3. Okay, so this is our first derivative of our implicit function. 
So now, try this example. x cubed plus 3x plus y squared equals 20. Thank you, mathematicians, for joining us in this video lecture on implicit differentiation. We explore a powerful technique in calculus for finding derivatives of equations with interwine variables. By mastering implicit differentiation, you are now equipped to confidently tackle calculus problems involving implicit relationships. Thank you for your dedication to expanding your mathematical knowledge. Stay tuned for more fascinating subjects in the future lecture.